Welcome back viewers. Okay, I'm going to show you some pictures that I took today of Lake Pontchartrain. I wasn't planning on going there today, but uh, the situation made it possible for me to go, so I went ahead and went. This time I tried to uh, get some shallower shots so we could see the curvature a little better. And uh, I think this is a pretty good one actually. Um, now it's low light levels, I have a, a slow lens, so I've struggled a little bit with uh, clarity. Uh, also have it maxed out at 300 millimeters and I'm still not using a tripod, I'm on the side of the highway here. Actually let me go to the shot with the car in it so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is, um, here's the GPS coordinates for that spot. Uh, this image and a lot of the raw images you'll see today are going to be in the folder that I linked in the description of the previous video and we'll link in the description of this video. Uh, there's the GPS coordinates of where I was located. I'm on the opposite side of the highway. And you can clearly see that the towers are in fact curving and the water underneath them is curving as well. So that was a pretty good shot, but I thought that I'd try and get a little shallower shot on the other side and I think this shot came out great um, not, in, not in the photographic sense but in the uh, sense of uh, showing the curvature I mean guys this is curvature uh, there's no denying this it's obvious clear plain as day curvature over the horizon the water is curving these towers trace out the curve that we globe earthers or conventional modelists as I like to call us that we've been telling you is there okay this is why the horizon obstructs cities in the background it's because it's curved okay the water is curved and the horizon obstructs the view of things behind it and that is what you're seeing right here you're seeing the curve that we keep telling you is there and visible if you know how to look for it and this is how you look for it okay not go way up high and look down on things. No, you come down here at the right angle where the conventional model would predict that you would see the curvature and there it is right where it says it should be. Moving on. I decided I was gonna to go to the causeway today and take some pictures because the causeway seems to be another big, um, I don't know, weapon I guess that the flat earthers try to wield um, unfortunately it's a double-edged sword because I live here and that sucks for anybody that's in the flat earth because soundly will go out there and take pictures <laughs> these are some uh, pictures I actually took of uh, some other towers um, if we go over to Google Earth real quick sorry for this tangent there's some other towers that run this way towards this casino right here uh, treasure chest casino uh, they're basically the same model of tower um, and I just I took a picture of them because, um, you know, somebody was complaining that the towers must shrink as they go off in the distance. Well, they don't. The towers don't shrink. They're all the same tower. They're, and if you look at them from the side view, you can tell they're all the same height. Um, if we're talking about inches difference, okay, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. A couple inches. What does that matter when you're talking about 16 miles? It doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, we're not talking about tens of feet, and we're certainly not talking about fifties of feet. Um, the curvature is because the earth is curving, not because the towers are getting shorter, which I think was an absurd claim that somebody made in the last video. But let's zoom in on this uh, casino here. There's a little pier out here, and this is where I was. I was on this, right under this little pavilion here on this pier. And um, let's see, that's where I took this uh, picture right here. And I also took a picture of the causeway. Um, there's a piece of the causeway that goes up so that, uh, there's a few pieces like this, but this is one of the bigger ones. Uh, it goes up so that, um, where is it? Here it is. It goes up. This, uh, this is actually not from that pavilion. This is a little later. Let me back up. Where is that image? Sorry about this. Trying to make this video short. Here it is. Okay, so this is an image uh, of that piece that I was talking about. And the interesting thing is, is that you can see that the highway is like obstruct, it's gone. 
Now, there is a mirage right here, so I'll be the first to say, yeah, okay, this is the definitive, uh, a definitive picture. Um, with your eyes, it's way more apparent. Like, uh, you can see the highway actually um, getting lower and lower and lower and eventually going down behind this horizon. Uh, but it's, yeah, I, I don't have really good, chance. I had the wrong lens on there. I should have had a wider angle lens, but of course with the wider angle lens, it's hard to, it's hard to make out everything. So I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to show you what I see with my own eyes, but trying. Anyway, let's go back to where I start getting shallower shots of the, uh, I have a lot of HDR shots in here. So, um, when I said, now when I say HDR, I mean, I took three separate exposures. Okay. So I don't want to hear any nonsense from, Oh, it's faker. Whatever. Okay. So I'm starting to get shallower here. Some shallower shots towards the causeway. Um, you can see these little buildings on the side of the causeway. They're all lined up on the side of the causeway. That's interesting and you, that'll be um, important to keep your eye on here. Um, some more shallower shots. Come on. I don't know why my screen is blurring like that. You can see the big hump in the background. Here's a smaller hump right here. Let's zoom in on that so you can see those. You need to you need to know that those are there so you can understand another shot that's coming up. Um, let's go back. All right, yeah. So here's a smaller hump. You can see the cars going up and over it. And then there's a larger hump. Cars go up and over it. And here's a, no, actually these are sorry. These are at the same portion of the bridge. This is the smaller hump that I was referring to. My mistake. So let's back up. And get to a shallower shot. Took a lot of pictures today. Okay, here we go. Now we're, now we're talking. Okay. So here's the shot that I was uh, referring to. Um, if you look at these buildings, you can tell that this is a curve. These outside corners of these buildings are on a curve right here. Okay. And these buildings are basically just lined up. Um, I haven't actually confirmed in Google Earth that they're perfectly in line. I don't really think I need to. Somebody else can. I'll look at them in a minute. But uh, let me get through this other stuff first. We'll do that on the tail end. But that's a pretty cool curve right there. Okay. Now let's actually look at the bridge itself. So I went to the other side of the bridge. And here we are. I mean, it's a curve, guys. So all these Flat Earth videos that talk about this causeway, it's like they... Googled a bunch of stuff and said, what's the longest bridge? And then they look for images that were shot straight down on top of the bridge. Well, of course you're not going to see curvature that way. That, that's Why would you? The conventional model doesn't even predict that you would. The conventional model predicts that you would see it at this shallow angle. And that is what you see. You're seeing the causeway curve right here. I mean, it's definitive definitive proof right there that the causeway is in fact curving over the horizon just like the towers i personally think the taller the object is the easier it is to tell that it's uh curving you know the taller the bridge or the taller the towers the easier it is to tell so i went back uh took a wider angle shot with my phone cell phone uh but uh, I took a wider angle shot with my, the camera as well, the, um, the raw camera. And I did that because I was thinking that I would need to link up the GPS coordinates with it. But uh, it turns out that Google actually does some type of magic to link up GPS coordinates. Uh, if you upload it through the Google uploader, uh, it knows where you were when, at the moment that picture was taken. And it tells you what the GPS coordinates were. It's pretty interesting. Um, 
But I do have some cell phone shots if you guys want to see those. Anyway, I mean, the rest of it's just pictures I took for fun. And any pictures that you want to see that aren't in the folder, just let me know. You know, you can if you're looking at this video and you see a particular like number and you want to see it, let me know. I'll put it in there. But I'll, I'll put all the ones that I thought were the best in there. Yeah, so I think it's pretty definitive, guys. Um, yeah, the water's curving. That's that's a curve. And you can just sit here and stare at it if you want. Um, I really am hoping because let me tell you, I I genuinely want people to not be deceived. I mean, that's, that's really why I take these pictures. That's really why I'm interested in this at all, because I find it interesting that it does seem like there are some genuine flat earthers that honestly believe what they're saying, and I don't understand how that's possible, because they don't have the facts to, to support it. Um, even the stuff that they misunderstand seems so obviously wrong that I don't understand how they believe it. Um... And I'm not talking from the perspective of something that I've been taught. You know, uh, in the very beginning, whenever I ran into Flat Earth, I heard people saying this, you know, you're just believing what you've been brainwashed to believe. And so I actually went out and for myself, did the math. Uh, you know, I took the pictures. I tried to really, from a foundational level, understand why I believe that the Earth was a sphere, other than the obvious NASA photos that nobody wants to believe in. And I did. I mean, whenever I actually honestly researched it, investigated it, I found that it's obvious that the Earth is a sphere. And not only is it obvious, it's obvious how flat Earth is falsified repeatedly. So now, you know, at this point, when I have done the research, so to speak, um, I find myself wondering how it is that anyone can actually genuinely believe that what they're saying about perspective and these things that, uh, you know, just make no sense. How do they honestly believe it? You know, how do you honestly believe that uh, Himawari ate hundreds of thousands of pictures are all somehow magically perfect with weather and volcanic eruptions and smog and ship trails and forest fires i mean there are there are, there are forest there are firemen that use the images to know where the forest fires are and not one fireman has ever gone out there and there not be a fire i mean come on guys you cannot fake the hemowari 8 pictures i can't fake this picture it's it's real okay it hurts to be wrong, but the earth is a sphere, and this water is curving. Please, for the love of God, please look at the evidence, for real. I'm begging you. Sound me out.